This is the Magic Square MSB27B sound wall. I picked up this figure at R Toys. Pretty neat. It's a third party legend scaled sound blaster, which is a direct repaint of the MSB27A or B27 voice ripple. Let's get him out of packaging. And here is sound wall out of packaging. We've already done voice ripple from robot to alt mode. So today we're starting from the alt mode going into robot mode. Looks pretty nice actually. Um, if it weren't for just the nostalgia factor that voice ripple or sound wave had, this sound blaster is actually the better looking figure. Really appreciate how this one turned out. I love this sort of orangey type of yellow on black and gray. Really, really nice. Okay, transformation for the figure. I didn't have much of an issue on that peg slipping into that uh, slot right there. Not as much, not as bad as the voice ripple version, but uh, it was still a little bit tight. So, okay, so here they are. So this figure actually comes with laser beak. Uh, I kind of don't appreciate that, that uh, this company actually uh, tried to make you sort of like force you to buy both versions of, of their or unofficial Soundwave and Sound Blaster figures so that you can get all the cassettes. I had hoped that this one would only come with Ratbat instead of laser beak, but laser beak being an integral part integral member of the original first wave of Decepticons on Earth, you need to get him with Soundwave, you obviously had to purchase this figure. Nevertheless, it's still an awesome, awesome purchase. Now, I am very, very pleased to announce that no breakage of these hip peg ball joints, and I know I'm always gonna be very concerned about that, especially what happened to my voice ripple. Go check out that video of voice ripple if you wanna know more about that peg uh, breaking off. So anyway, Let's transform him into his robot mode. Okay, go ahead and do this. Very exactly the same. Let's just go through it very quickly. Do the weapons right there. Untab the leg. Oh man, that's tight. Okay, not that, not as tight as the voice ripple version. Hold out the feet. Fold this out. Fold this here. Tab. That in right there, folds like this, and then like that, and then like this, and like that. This, go ahead, okay, it's out. Just do the same with this panel right here. Okay, and that's both legs done. Arms fold out like this, like this, and then like this, and then like that, and then this, like this, okay. Like this, like this, like this, like that. that. Okay, fold, fold like this. Rotate this midsection, rotate this under section, fold it up like that, and rotate the lower side piece like that. Like this, like this, and there you go. There is sound wall in robot mode. He does come with extra pairs of hands, the button pressing hands and the pointy hands. Weapons, okay, still very tight. Okay, he's gonna hold in like this. Shoulder cannon, like that. And then laser beak. Um, for laser beak, I just wanted to show off the generation one laser beak just so you have some comparison we'll, we'll sh I'll show him off also in bird mode or condor mode laser bird that's what the <laughs> that's what the uh instructions say transform this guy that go ahead and move these up here fold the wings out like that the head is a little tricky you gotta stick your fingernail right there in the middle just to stick, just to get that uh, beak and head sculpt out like that. And then the feet, they just go like this. Okay. Boy, it's really small. 
And for size comparisons, there you have G1 or Generation 1 Laser Beak together with Laser Bird. Pretty neat. And just so you can see them together, here is Soundwall with Voice Ripple Laser Bird figure, which actually wonderfully nests right there on the forearm. The, um, that very thin uh, leg or one of the legs can easily tab on to the forearm of either Soundwall or Voice Ripple. And so some final thoughts on this figure. In case I forgot to mention, the Soundwall variant comes with the purple acrylic Energon cube uh, accessory versus the clear acrylic that came with Voice Ripple. It's really an amazing figure. If you feel you're going to be forced to buy this figure, you're not going to like it just to get the Laser Bird or Laser Beak uh, figure. It's, it's really a, a good enough purchase uh, for your Magic Square collection because it really is a wonderful figure. And the sound wall, in my opinion, like I said, is the better figure between the two. Uh, but of course, everybody's gonna want Soundwave or Voice Ripple. So with that, both figure, this figure at least is gonna get a nine and a half out of 10 for me. So there you go, folks. I hope you've enjoyed my little video review. If you did, please let me know in the comments what you think of Soundwall from Magic Square and hit that notification bell so you never miss out on any of my latest video reviews. If it's your first time on this channel, please subscribe. Thanks for watching.